the right to vote is one of the most powerful instruments that a citizen has. All the politicians are correct. 120 members of our parliament, they have one or the other criminal cases against them. The state is not for them a For the past player. 20 years of my life, I haven't participated in any political activity. Whether I activity. vote or don't vote, things remain the same. have the right to vote. People have died. Voting in a definitely quest has an impact. My question is, do we have the right candidates to vote for? million uh, of the young uh, voters turned out in the urban areas to vote in the 2004 elections, which seems not bad at all. Six million is quite a substantial number, except when you look at it in terms of a percentage. A mere 9% of the total eligible youth. Are you voting in elections 2009? Uh, no. Huh? No. No, I haven't been voting right now, which I'm quite ashamed of to uh, kind of accept. But, uh, well, that's the truth. So. Here it is. I would always rate as one of the topmost issue uh, is the fact that the current youth generation has decided to stay out of the system. My vote is my voice and the voice of all who struggle so that I, I may have my voice. It's uh, apathetic towards politics because they're perhaps uh, disenchanted with the way politics is run. Despite all the publicity, despite all the you know multimedia campaigns that we have uh, been launching, we have launched in the recent past, you know, uh, somehow we find that you know uh, the population in this age group is not very forthcoming in being a part of the electoral process. The kind of stress that you have to go just to get a voting card itself is phenomenal. Thanks to the government, always misplaces people's name and they ask you to run about from one end to the other end. We have to provide a platform where it is easy for our youngsters and for our voters to register to vote. I am not sleeping, okay? Election ke din, agar aap vote nahi kar rahe ho, to aap so rahe ho. We realize that it's not just important to tell people to go out and vote. There are actual issues that people face, which is in terms of awareness of the right kind of rules, procedures, and, and even the systems. How easy and convenient is the process? You know, life in Bangalore is so busy that, you know, you're caught up with a lot of things and uh, you really don't find time to actually go and, and you know, cast your vote. pay attention to rural areas and try to win their votes but an integral part of um, our state is uh, the youth and um, the government has to you know take uh, into consideration the youth of today understand our feelings and you know if um, they uh, curb, uh, if they you know put forward some laws that would help us I think uh, then I would be inclined to go and vote or give my vote to that government otherwise I don't think I'd vote politicians are going to those slums and those uh, localities only because those guys are at least voting. Uh, what we really need for the youth to be inspired is uh, the older politicians to retire. They have been educated. They do not have any criminal you know, record against them. They can understand youth because they have also gone through the same phase. Part of the reason for apathy is also because there's an element of cynicism. You know, there are too many people who are corrupt to get away with things. There are too many people who are criminal to get away with things, even in the political realm. So people say, what difference can we make? The same bunch of hoodlums are running the show. You know, that sort of stuff is causing people to take a step back and say, I don't want anything to do with this. I don't want to waste my time, energy. It's all a big charade. option per se to go out there and, and tell the people that we're not interested to vote to any of these candidates. It's one thing not exercising your vote and it's also another thing to just exercise it for the sake of just exercising your vote.
what is the alternative we do not need to shun politics we need to cleanse politics we do not need to shun politicians we need to get pressure on political parties to get the right type of politicians the quota issue happened it was not in our best interest all these attacks against women and i don't see government doing anything to protect women the massacre in mumbai atankwadi sarhad par hai you talk about the mumbai attack the government did nothing at all it's important for such issues not to crop up again that we need to vote the recent spate of terror attacks in 2008 uh, have i think decidedly shown that uh, you know governance there's no alternative to good governance and and the fact that we do need a better political leadership in our country uh, it's important for me to vote because we always complain about our politicians um, not doing their duty you have no right to complain until you vote so it doesn't make sense cribbing about anything later on when you yourself haven't done your duty towards your state or your country we want to change this whole system and that the only way we can do it is by voting and trying to change the people in power the opportunity to elect politician comes rarely just once in 5 years so i want our youngsters not to lose this opportunity to vote for the best politician so that we can create a better india each and every one of you and your vote your voice counts go and make a difference well dipika narayan bhardwaj the young graduate who made that film joins us now in studio thanks dipika for joining in so what motivated you to make youth count okay you know uh, the youth in india the young minds have been leading in in field of sports in field of it in field of business but there's one sector one area where we really do not have the youth you know the politicians uh, the politics so uh, when i was in engineering and after that when i worked people my friends around me my colleagues they had an uh, voter identity card but that was just as an identity proof they never voted right. and you know that sort of uh, made me believe that yes the young need to be energized they need to be motivated and i thought a uh, film was the best medium to sort of uh, ask them come out vote you really count you can make a difference so that's how the right whole that's of exactly what any tv has been trying to do in fact over the last couple of weeks we've had these special youth segments the youth get to grill young politicians but what do you plan to do with your film now how how do you plan to uh, really use it to motivate people you know uh, nd tv is one platform tomorrow is elections in delhi so right. you know people watch this film sort of believe in themselves they come to know that they really count and one single vote also can make a difference so they need to feel responsible towards their country and through this film i just want people to see it and to go out to vote and make a right, difference for the country and we saw you you spoke to a plethora of people there yeah. what what were some of the opinions you kept coming up against and again and again um, you know one person was like nothing can be done about this system yeah uh, even i came across such an opinion you know people used to vote but they stopped voting because they did not see any development happening another thing was when we saw in us how the leaders have how obama has you know asked the young he has especially you know focused on the young voters on the young people because right. he know they can make a difference so that's what ha- needs to happen in india the young believe politicians can't do anything and the politicians believe the young do not matter so that circle is there which needs to be broken that block it needs to be broken and that that's how uh, you know this whole thing can happen and right. that's how the young people would actually be uh, motivated enough to come out and vote for the right set of people right well dipika we hope uh, some of the young voters watching right now do get inspired by I that film they just that. saw so <laughs> Um, if you watched Youth Count there, we do hope you will go out and exercise your right to vote tomorrow. Thanks so much for coming in. Thank you so We're much. We're completely out of time and uh, we need to take a break. But on the other end, Paranaz joins us with all the sports news.